Darley Decimo looking as he's got at least a good 50 pounds of muscle on Joey Bones. Joey's going to be smart about this. He's got to stick and move. And we've seen him utilize those kind of tactics before. You know, he is quite evasive. He relies on his speed, his dexterity. Decimo might be the one to fatigue a little bit quicker than Bones, but only time will tell. You know, you're, you're looking at size. Darley, clearly the bigger man, but Joey Bones, he's got the height, he's got the reach, he's got that drop kick, and I think if he can just connect some of those shots right to Darley, he can take him out in no time. Well, one thing we, uh, we might overlook, I want to bring everyone's attention, Darley and Joey have near the same amount of time in the sport as one another, if I'm not mistaken. Darley won a little more to, to flaunt it. I think he feels as though he has more to prove, especially being someone out of his element. You know, he's a North Shore sensation. He's from Boston. Joey's a Rhode Island guy. He's got the home field advantage here. But I think he needs to he needs to rethink that waist lock. Darley Decimo yeah, exactly. versus. You need more than a home field advantage when you're going against Darley Decimot. Hey, hey, don't let, don't let him hear you call him that. Well, what's he going to do? The T is silent. I see it. <laughs> I always wondered if it's silent, why would you pay extra money to have it stitched out on your trunks? I, yeah, no, Man, you killed the room. I'm, I'm not going to get into that, John, you know? <laughs> yeah, John Roy, short name, Grandma Nazi. Decimo pushes Bones into the ropes here, releases the hold, and Bones spike down to the canvas. Decimo with an advantage early on. Can he hang on to it? Bones with that leapfrog. And oh, there's there that it is. kick you were talking a about, thing John. of beauty. Joey right on the head. Applying that chin lock. He's trying to keep Decimo grounded. And that's a smart strategy. But again, you know, you're talking about a lot of physique difference here. Decimo with the size advantage. It's going to be rather easy for him to get back up to a vertical base. Guys, you know what I'm noticing right now? Look at Squire. He's rooting for Joey. Like, I know he's supposed to be in his corner, but it he's, looks like these two have become friends over the past few weeks. He's been rather quiet. I almost forgot about Squire over there on the outside. Well, I mean, it's, a, it, it's clear Joey Bones has treated the Squire with much more respect than has King Leon VI. But Bones now is completely focused on his adversary. Double leg takedown as both men are duking it out on the table. There we go again. To the outside. On the floor. Ooh. High knee lift to that midsection. Joey oh, Bones now just gets thrown into the barricade. We've got a whole lot of children in that section, Darley. Please, please, did you take the fight back of the ring for crying out loud. Ooh. Double Next handle week, applied. I'm going to make every match an inferno match so they stay in the ring. <laughs> That's what we need this summer. Not like it hasn't been inferno matches in here every week either. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, man. What do we got, the furnace on? I thought you were talking about wintertime. We got the two space heaters going on the sides. Let's put him closer to the ring. Don't give him any ideas, John. Decimo's got himself an idea and a plan here. He's going to duke it out with the chairman of the Boneyard. Nicky Knox is having his hand forced here to apply that standing 10 count. Oh, man. Haymakers left and right. Ref, get him back in the ring. What are you doing inside county? Get out there and get him in the ring. Squire. Start, is he calling out Darley? He's trying to decide if he should. Bones not so quick to get back up to a vertical base here. Decimo still has an advantage, and he's hanging on to it with dear might. And, and Squire almost seems lost on the outside without rules oh, to God. follow, but... Ooh! <laughs> Darley, spine first into the guardrails. Big reversal uh, of the whip applied. I'm going to have to change the name of this show. These guardrails have become such an important part. Thursday night guardrail, really, John? Thursday night guardrail fights. Oh, God. I'm going to take these out and put Jello ones up and see how they do. Some Jello? Well, if the West Warwick fans, I'm sure they'd love Jello guardrails. I know a few. Bones now breaking the count. And referee Nick Knox now has to reset. Bones becoming rather comfortable with duking it out on the outside. I've never seen this kid shy away from a challenge. 
You know, we, we, we've seen him show a couple of different sides of his face over the past two, three years. But one thing that has never changed is that never say die attitude of Joey Bones. You back him against the wall, you put him in a horrible situation. Watch out because that animalistic nature is going to shine through. You know, and you well see scouted, that, Bobby Ross. You see, you see that with a lot oh, of look, guys look, look. Oh! that come through here. You know, they want to reach the top. Darley, Darley, he may not be a, a fan favorite right now. You, you, you can't admit that he's not a fighter. Yeah, you don't have to like him, but you do have to respect him. And what a way to get yourself up the power rankings by knocking down one, one of the, uh, the household favorites here in Joey Bones. Cover here. See that? That was a good cover. The, the guy may have a chip on his shoulder, but Darley Decimo has a ton of promise. He's got some solid technique. Can he keep his head in the game? That's the question. And the crowd. About 90-10 for Joey Bones. Just a few. Just a few boos. That's how quickly he can convert you to a fan. But Darley back on the offensive now. The fans still rallying behind Joey. Getting louder as the match goes on. Joey eating that suplex, too, but still kicking out. Resilient as ever. Here's the thing about Joey Bones. We've seen him in pickles like this before. We've seen him have to fight his way through the pain. But Decimo, in my opinion, has not looked stronger in a match up until now. He has had a very clear advantage for a solid four minutes. If Joey doesn't turn things around soon, I'm not so sure he's going to be able to, Phoenix. Decimo's a player. Let's make no mistake. He's a scary individual. He's got a streak, and if you push the right buttons, I would not want to be facing him on the other side of that turnbuckle. Mm. Oh, jeez. That midsection continues to be isolated by Decimo. Joey nope. needs to rethink his strategy here. Tarly swinging straight through with that blow to the shoulder blades. You know, with that rib cage of Joey's having been under his constant attack, I don't think he's going to be able to get himself up for that signature drop kick. We know how he likes to employ it in different parts of the matchup. Right now, he's not in fighting shape. Jeez. And you can see the sweat just coming off of Tarly's chest. Big reversal of the whip and Bones sent right spine first. Buckle. Decimo again with that pin. Now, so Bones fights his way on out. Darley. Did you see he did not proportion his body weight on top of Joey? He's got a clear weight advantage and he did not proportion on top of Joey's body on that pin. You, know, you see guys make that mistake every so often. I think they just, I don't know if it's cockiness or if they're just too, too off. He's got a good stuck in the 40, moment. 50 pounds on him. And if he just proportioned it across the chest and sternum of Joey Bones, he could have had that three count. Couldn't agree more, Phoenix. Well, the tendency that I've seen among many competitors over the years is that they, they it's almost an expectation. They, they issue out that knockout blow. They think the guy is going to be down for more than three seconds. Wait a minute here. Bones now wiggles his way to a sunset flip style pin. Into the boot, Joey. Oh, going for the knee. Right. Oh! oh! That could do it. Plants Driving side again. suplex, cover Straight here. to the side Dude. again. Only covering that one shoulder, yep. I saw what he did. So. That whole left side of Joey's body completely exposed. Fans. Still rallying back. Darley trying to figure out how to put him away. Could be as simple as that shoulder. Darley Decimo having a very strong power base. That is his style of wrestling. He, he, he likes to issue out a lot of pain, a lot of big slams. Joey Bones is quite possibly the most resilient roster member. Oh. Huge spine buster by Joey. He goes for the pin. Darley kicking out two and a half. Joey making the same mistake that Dolly did earlier. Didn't have a flush pin, didn't have a flush cover no. on it. Hastiness. Stay on him. Joey may have found a chink in the armor of Darley Decimo. 
trying to fight his way back into the upper hand of this matchup. Decimo with a modified face buster, putting all of his weight behind it. Does Joey have enough wherewithal? He does. He gets his hand up in time. Decimo's wow. running out of ideas. That's a look at desperation if I've seen one. It certainly is. To look of what in the hell is this string being made of? I've seen that face by several of Joey Bone's opponents before. And we've asked this question before, John. Is this kid gonna be able to survive? Let alone win the matchup. Can this kid survive? I don't know, I see those lights flickering. I'm starting to, I'm, I'm waiting for John Steele to pop up. Darley, got I better not let it get distracted. He, he's wasting some time here with Joey Bones. He's gonna go for the submission. He's gonna put him to sleep. Smart strategy, applying a chin lock in the later phases of this matchup. If you can keep Joey Bones off of his feet, if you can keep him immobilized, you have a much better chance of winning the matchup. Again, that leverage mistake. I don't think Darley had enough pressure put down on the on the head and neck of Joey, allowed him to get a little bit of wiggle room, pop up out of that. <laughs> oh, caught a flush on the side of the head. He's, he's gone. No! Two! Again, that hasty Only nature of our young count. competitors, man. I mean, that was, that was a clean strike applied, don't get me wrong, but Joey Bones, it's gonna take more than that to take Darley out of this matchup. He's had an upper hand and advantage for clearing out seven minutes. He's still got a lot of gas left in that tank of his. Both of these men springing back up. I almost don't even want to talk. I just want to witness it. Joey going for that patented elbow. Oh, he's not in time. Nope. Darley with the right hand. Joey back down in that top turnbuckle. Dangerous part of town here. Oh, mm. Jesus. Joey Bones. Flapjack into the mat. Nope. And still Again. gets his shoulder off the canvas. Dude. Decimo has thrown his entire arsenal at this young man, and he still cannot prevail. We're almost at 2.99 territory, Bob. Indeed we are. Decimo learning firsthand from Joey Bones that the strongest muscle is not the bicep, it is the heart. And Joey Bones proving that right now. Oh. Decimo looking to make an example out of XWA's heart and soul. Joey Bones, uh, you could call it heart. Some may call it stubbornness, but he is certainly not giving up the fight right now. He's taking every ounce of what Darley's feeding into him right back to him, and it almost looks like he's bleeding from the mouth. i got to be honest, it's tough to watch. It's tough to call. It really is. Oh, he's going for that chair now. Oh, no. He's Coming on like chair. this. Getting frustrated. Decimo setting up that, that on, signature ref, ref throne ref's of ref's Joey it. Bones. Joey's sucking wind over there, grabbing the ropes for air. Darley wasting time. He should be putting Joey away. And wait a minute. Behind the back of our referee, nice. uh, the artist formerly known as Squire. Lost. Just when I, uh, Squire getting in the way. And Darley in the chair uh, anyway. Darley just ate the chair. And the punch. Saving Joey Bones. And an unlikely turn of events. Joey Bones ascends the top rope. The elbow drop. Jesus, he's done. He's got to be over. Two, three. Joey gets the victory. Much deserved. Congratulations, Joey. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this match, Joey Bones! And Phoenix, you know, as a...